Porygon Z comes out, and uh, I'm pretty sure I know what it's going to do, but Blissey's going to take it regardless, even with the special attack boost. So I send in Blissey to take it as per usual. Now uh, I decided to set up a Stealth Rock, as everybody, as just like him, everybody's expecting me to T-Wave like crazy now. So even, even after I get variety of teams, people still... just whatever. So I send in uh, Dust Noir to avoid the cross chop and then have a little burn burn and run game here. He brings the PZ back in, which is interesting to me. I probably so he could avoid, uh, well, quote unquote, avoid the Will O Wisp. See, now going back to Blissey is pretty obvious. So I predicted he would use Tri Attack, and Dusk Noir avoids Tri Attack, and I uh, decided to stay in for that one. I also assumed that he had a Choice Scarf, because that's very common. Fortunately, he did, so he had to run away. I actually should have burned there, knowing that the PZ would run away, but I didn't. And uh, fortunately for him, he made a nice move with Pursuit. I don't see very many Pursuiters, so that hit me big time. That hurt a lot more than I expected. Metagross came in for the Bullet Punch, and then uh, an Uxie comes out. I don't know too much about Uxie, other than the fact that it's just a weaker version of Cress. But I know enough that Metagross can't stay in here very long. So I go to uh, Blissey to absorb status or any attack he decided to throw out at me. And uh, I'm still afraid of the E-Vire switching in. I think it's still alive. Yeah, it's still alive. I'm still afraid of the E-Vire switching in, as it did. So I didn't want to use Stealth Rock. I had to go with the Seismic Toss. Get it down there a little bit more. And uh, it won't die in one Seismic Toss. And this Blissey, obviously, because it has Stealth Rock, doesn't carry counter. So I've got to leave. Cross Chop is extremely obvious, but at this point, Dust Noir was just Death Fodder, so that's why he went in. I knew that uh, he wouldn't Cross Chop that time, but there wasn't really anything else I could do about it. So he was just so I could get a free switch in. I bring in Aerodactyl there, and uh, I'm expecting him to go to Uxi and avoid the Earthquake, but he doesn't. So fortunately for me, uh, Stone Edge was powerful enough to kill. Otherwise, that would have been some trouble right there. Aerodactyl probably would have died. It got an attack boost, not a special attack boost. But still, I don't think I can take a T-Bullet or an Ice Beam. I'll just go to Blissey and play it safe. Burn will whittle it down. And uh, for whatever reason here, I predicted him to switch. Pretty stupid. And uh, critical hit, or not critical, yeah, critical hit with freeze anyway. So I forget what I was going for. I don't want Blissey to stay in, so I switch out to Metagross. That won't be too hurt by the Ice Beam. And uh, also, th it'll prevent his Weevil from coming in. However, he switched out and brought the Weevil in anyway. So fortunately for me, Metagross was able to take him out. And now his Porygon Z is going to be useless. Brings in Smeargle, and I put it in gray, because this part is pretty boring. He tries to Destiny Bond me, and so it's just me switching around for seven or eight turns, waiting for him to run out of Destiny Bonds. I'm just pretty much stalling time, and uh, the gray is supposed to represent that. One thing I do want to mention, actually, I remembered. The reason I'm not hitting him, even if I do go first, is because Destiny Bond works for half of the next turn. So if he were to use it, and then next turn, if he hasn't made a move yet and I kill him first, Destiny Bond still takes you down, as long as he hasn't selected a different move. So that's why I have to keep running away and keep changing what I'm doing and keep switching out, because even if I were to kill him now, I would still lose. The reason I used Soft Boiled there is because I predicted him to use Taunt, but I didn't want to use Seismic Toss just in the case that he used Destiny Bond, so I used Soft Boiled to uh, make myself remember that and go through that little thing and tell you about it. But uh, fortunately, that I, I did play it safe because he did use Destiny Bond, so that was a good, good idea by his part to not Taunt there. And uh, he's out of Destiny Bonds now, as I saw Counter, so I know that it's safe to kill him. And the battle resumes as per usual. Porygon Z comes in and dies from the Stealth Rock. Uxie comes in, and I know it's Psychic type, so I'm going to go for the Crunch. I should play it safe and go to Blissey, but I don't. And I get Thunder Waved in the process of that. So I guess it's better than getting a T-Bolt, but so be it. Uses Memento, which I find interesting. I mean, I guess he didn't really have any choice as to what to do. But, uh... I don't know, it would have been better if it was something to use on a switch. Brings in Yanma. So obviously he wants to use Hypnosis on me, but I'm paralyzed. So I go. I just, I'm mostly curious to see what he can do. He goes for a hidden power, so it's probably ice or something. And uh, my Stone Edge is able to finish it off. Thanks for watching. Peace.
against the wall, young 